All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I hope you've all had a great day. I hope you're all having a great week so far. It is your boy, JD. Now, I don't normally do this at the beginning of my videos. I've never really done it because I know how it comes across right. It can be quite desperate, quite cringy. However, this is a very special occasion because as you can see by the channel right now, we are on 45,000 subscribers, which means only one thing. We are on the road to 50K. We've come so far in a short amount of time and it's all down to you guys so if there's anybody watching right now who isn't subscribed and you like the content we put out you know talking about things we're not really supposed to talk about hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video and you can join the community too let's see if we can hit what 50k by the end of this month the middle of next month that would be an insane target to reach and i know we can do it nonetheless all the cringy stuff out of the way let's get on with today's video so it's been quite a while ladies and gentlemen since we've seen anything come from jeffrey marsh ever since this uh, whole situation went down hey kids hi kids i want to talk to the kids hey kids yeah still even at this point i don't really know how to describe that but for most of you that are subscribed and have been subscribed for a long time you know we covered that situation quite extensively and we covered all the controversy that came along with it so seeing this uh tiktok on my twitter timeline really did come as a surprise i never thought we'd be reacting to another jeffrey marsh tiktok but it was posted in a tweet that goes as follows jeffrey marsh gives advice on feminism and trans rights according to jeffrey marsh it is ironic for a movement turfism that calls itself feminist to be in the business of policing what all women should think about and i can already tell what people are thinking about i can already imagine some of the comments that are going to be left down below but before we discuss it all and how hypocritical it all is let's take a look at this very tiktok of jeffrey marsh explaining why it essentially uh, why feminists and trans people should unite to beat the forces that apparently oppress them. Take a listen. I'm not even quite sure what this post means. But anything that pits trans people against feminists is, in my opinion, heading in the wrong direction. We could and should be working inclusively together against the forces that oppress both of us. And I would point out, it is ironic for a movement, turfism, that calls itself feminist to be in the business of policing what all women should think about, how they should react, and what they should do. Just my two cents. You see, to me, this whole video just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And Jeffrey Marsh knows this because he also sits there himself and says, I'm not too sure what this video is supposed to mean, yet neither are we, and it's very hypocritical. He states that apparently anything putting trans people and feminists against each other is going in the wrong direction. Well, isn't that interesting? Because there's one big issue now putting trans people and a lot more feminists against each other. The normalization of men being in their safe spaces, bathrooms, locker rooms, changing rooms, and even their sports. And because that's putting them against each other, does that mean to Jeffrey Marsh is heading in the wrong direction and they should just accept everything so in the end everybody stands for nothing? And those feminists, and you don't even have to be a feminist to stand up for those things, the women standing up for the truth, all get labelled the same anyway. What do they get labelled? Turfs, or you're part of turfism, according to Jeffrey Marsh. We all know those words don't really exist anyway, they're just used as a tactic to silence women so they don't voice their opinion, raise their concerns. So maybe in the future, uh, certain people hope that they just comply with what's going on. But however, we're seeing more and more pushback to that, which is great to see. And I would argue, and this might be controversial to say, but I'm going to say it anyway, I would argue the women who are standing up for those things, the truth, are doing a lot more than the feminists who think along the lines of Jeffrey Marsh, because those ideas are the very ideas that are now oppressing women. Are they not? Men going into safe spaces, coming in to their sports. And it's interesting to me, you know, Jeffrey Marsh can sit there and say it's ironic that a movement like turfism that is supposed to be all about feminism should have no business in policing how women think and act. Well, isn't that funny? Because if an agenda that came in many, many years ago now didn't actually start policing how women thought and acted and the rest of the world, this movement that apparently scares you so much may not be as big as it is now. And what did they tell people? What did they tell women? Well, if this man now identifies as a woman, however, and whenever he gets the same rights and privileges 
as you. He gets to now come into the locker rooms, bathrooms, changing rooms, and even in your sports because of a feeling, an individual truth. And the women that spoke out against that, what happened to them? Ban, cancel, silence, demonetize, and even still to this day, that still goes on. To me, I don't know about any of you, that sounds quite a lot like policing, does it not? And what forces of oppression is Jeffrey Marsh on about anyway? Because from what I can see and many other people can see, trans people are the most protected class and have the same rights as everybody else. And in terms of language, they have more rights because you can't say this, you can't say that, otherwise you will face consequences. If you're talking about women standing up for themselves and their safe spaces and their sports as a form of oppression, that's not oppression, that's them standing up for truth. So as I said, you know, very hypocritical, a load of double standards and again, uh, Jeffrey Marsh giving advice that nobody should listen to. Water is wet, the sky is blue. I want to hear your opinions on this though. Ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts and opinions on this Jeffrey Marsh TikTok? I would love to know. I'm sure it's going to be very interesting. If you have enjoyed, please for me, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new again, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so we can reach 50k. Share this video. But until next time, until tomorrow, it has been your boy JD. Have a great day. Stay safe and I'm out. Peace.